Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is written in C++. So before that, you can note down my information, phone number, email ID, website, my app, uh, in which you can find uh, uh, tutorials regarding various programming languages. You can download PPTs uh, through tutorials.techimage.in. You can read various books and uh, you can uh, subscribe and watch my YouTube channel where various programming related videos are available. So these information will be helpful for your study and placement purposes. Now coming on to the program, uh, the objective of the program is to read information of a book and print it with the help of classes. So the first statement is uh, inclusion of header file which is iostream. iostream. Uh, I have not used uh, .h because I am uh, using a modern compiler uh, for this program. Uh, so instead of dot h, I have used a namespace which is std. So std is a predefined namespace. Uh, it contains various predefined classes in it. Uh, after that, I have uh, defined a class uh, whose name is book. Uh, in uh, in this class, the first statement is uh, private, which is a access specifier. So it is a default access specifier. If we do not write, uh, write private here, uh, by default private is included. So inside private section, uh, there are three variables, book number, name and price. All these variables are of different data types. Then public section is defined. In public section, there are two functions. First is read and second one is print. So inside first function, cout and cin, uh, two objects are available. Cout is for uh, displaying uh, text on console and cin can read values from console. So first cout will print enter book number. Then book number will be read by b number variable uh, with the help of c in. Then again c out will print enter name and name will be read by c in object. Then c out will print enter price and price will be read in price variable. So this is the definition of first function which is read. Then print function it contains four c out statements. So first is printing book details r messes. Then handle means end line. So it will terminate uh, the new line uh, on console. It means uh, all the statements will print from new line. So uh, each cout statement having uh, end line uh, statement. So second cout statement will print book number on console. Uh, it is enclosed in double quotes. Uh, then b number variable is available. It will print its value. So you can see that uh, each time we are using insertion operator. Uh, between uh, text and variables. So in C language you have used comma but here in C++ we have to use this insertion operator. So this is the second function print then a class uh, has been terminated with the semicolon statement. Then main function is defined inside main function book is known as user defined data type and b is known as variable of the class uh, or you can say object. Then to call any function uh, which is defined inside the class, we have to use object name, then dot operator and then function name. So for this purpose, I have used b dot read and b dot print. So this is all about uh, this program. Now I am compiling this program. So you can see that there are no errors or warnings in the program. Now I am executing this code. So it is asking for book number, then name of book and then price. So I have entered book number 101, book name C++ and book price 500. So you can see that book details are book number 101, name C++ and price is 500. So the information which I entered, uh, it is displaying those information uh, again on the console. So the program is working properly. You can also implement this program on your laptop or desktop with the help of a, a IDE so that you, you will be able to understand the concept of classes and how can we create object of a particular class and uh, we can easily call the functions which are defi defined inside the class with the help of that object. So implement or practice uh, programs related to C++. You can also learn theoretical concepts of uh, C++. Uh, by watching my another videos. Thank you for watching this video.